Thinking of painting your vinyl siding? You have quite a few options with vinyl, as it gives you a nice large amount of surface area to work with and a smooth substrate to apply paint onto. Here are the Paint People's top 10 vinyl siding colors for 2021. We got a lot of colors to go through and it's quite a dynamic mix here, so why don't we start neutral and increasingly get a little more dynamic and fun as we go. I wanna save the best one for last. To start, we have the ever so reliable color, Revere Pewter. This color is not only an awesome interior paint color, but you can use it just as successfully outside. Because of its rich amount of undertones that can complement the more cool aspects of a color palette or the warm side. It's an earthy mid-tone gray, and because it's in that sweet spot, it can sometimes look a little warmer or a little cooler depending on the conditions. But what you'll for sure notice is how much lighter it looks outside compared to inside. This lightness can sometimes translate into a little more of a visible warmth that you might not be familiar with seeing inside, but don't forget that the sun produces very cool lighting, which will help balance things out. For a much deeper variation of Revere Pewter, the next color to talk about is Rockport Gray. This one is definitely going to feel more earthy as it is a deeper taupe color, that when placed outside can have a tendency to show a subtle green shift, especially if there's tons of trees reflecting their chlorophyll onto your front facade. I hope that made sense. Another example of a color that would seem extremely dark inside, but kind of feels normal outside. Although its natural warmer undertones won't be as prominent and will feel closer to a traditional dark gray. Our next color is a great gray, but I also wanted to bring it up to explain a point. Stone is a natural fit for the exterior world because of its wonderful combination of taupe and gray that just feels so grounded when used outdoors. One thing I will mention though is with that cooler lighting, the brown aspect of stone really disappears and what you're left with is a subtle purple shift. This may sound a little troubling to some of you, but keep in mind that this is the same shift that many of your actual stones in your garden might also have. So there's less opportunity for there to be any serious clashing happening. I like to pair this color with warm gray trim and navy blue accents because of how they tone in and soften that slight purple color shift that can sometimes occur. The opposite of a purple color shift is a green one. So let's take a look at Duxbury Gray for our fourth color on this list. I think it's pretty easy to tell that this isn't your average gray. Duxbury Gray has a teal undertone that looks even cooler in person. I mean, regarding color temperature. <laughs> On its own, the color is really a slate gray green that can have a tendency to feel closer to a slightly muted teal that just looks beautiful outside. This is one that I usually pair with bright whites to really bring those undertones in the main color to the forefront. Sort of on the opposite side of green is the former color of the year, Guilford Green. This one is vibrant and warm as it really has a wonderful gold undertone to liven it up. It's also quite a bit lighter in general and really has a pleasant demeanor to it. There's less gray mixed in and it's replaced by a touch of taupe to tone it in slightly, but it's that added yellow that causes it to shine outside. If that isn't shiny enough for you, then you'd have to take a look at Hawthorne Yellow for your siding. Quite possibly one of my favorite yellows to use on front doors, it's also fantastic on vinyl siding because even though it brings in such a punch of color, it also has a tinted milky buttercream feeling to it that keeps it as dynamic as you wanna go, but at the same time allows it to suit many houses. For a really fun bright color that doesn't have quite as much color in it, would be one of my top exterior white paint choices, and that is Swiss coffee, of course. I tend to see a lot of people using simply white instead, but I really enjoy the added taupey beige in Swiss coffee. It still looks really bright, but does a better job at handling intense bright sunlight. I tend to see it used more often on stucco rather than siding, but even still, it's an excellent choice in that regard. In terms of blue, for siding, I personally enjoy a more airy, powdery blue, that's more akin to denim instead of the Toronto Maple Leafs. New Hope Gray may look gray when used under incandescent lighting, but outside its blue aspect will be very prominent, especially if you have it paired with any warm tones whatsoever, whether it's creamy grayish trim or chocolatey brown front doors or garage doors. If you use New Hope Gray, it's because you like that bluish tone that it has. I stumbled across an image on homebunch.com, I think. They were using this color on a house on siding right by the water and the ground surrounding it had this beautiful orange brown mulch 
And it was that contrast that really caused the color in the house to stand out in a really beautiful way. It also subtly tied in the water in the background. With these cooler tones, I tend to go traditional and just pick clean whites to accompany them. The second last color I wanna go with is in the red family of colors, although it has just a bit of a rusty orange to it, and it's called Rich Chestnut. This one isn't the most saturated or dynamic rusty terracotta color out there, but it's pretty close, so not gonna lie. This color is absolutely dense with red, orange, and brown. It's a classic color to use if you like the tone of red brick with those little speckles of black and gray, but you're obviously working with siding instead, and you want that sort of tone, but maybe even have it be more prominent. In that case, this is gonna be a really fun color choice for you. But my favorite exterior color to use gets that distinction because to me, it always seems to look great. What makes it great is it definitely has the depth to stand out outside, but it also has a wonderful combination of undertones in brown and taupe, and maybe a little bit of warm green as well, which allows it to work in more industrial environments or amongst nature in suburban or rural neighborhoods. Whether you use it on stucco, garage doors, or in this case, your vinyl siding, it's really hard to go wrong with the beautifully deep Fairview taupe. Here's some Benjamin Moore exterior color combinations if you want to get even more creative with your color palettes. Oftentimes, it takes more than one color to put together something special. Whatever you decide to do, do it with colorful creativity. 